All right, folks, today is the day. No, it's not closing day. We finished this house uh, last year towards the end of the year, but uh, there's not always time to uh, get in through the house on closing day, so we're doing it a little later this time around. But anyways, all that said, beautiful contemporary style here that we did on this custom home. Very, very different and unique for uh, some of the more traditional stuff that we've done over the years. Um, but uh, you can see some sleek kind of brick here, thin, thinner brick um, on this sort of detail there. And then a little bit of siding just up in there, continuing on on that side. Really unique windows in this house and some stone accenting here. Since we completed the customers done a little bit of landscaping work here so they're just working away on getting some flower beds in um, but we'll take you up onto the front porch first there's got to be saws going we are in the construction business uh, but the uh, front door is a full eight foot door and a nice wood grain finish on there so we'll take you in there and show you around here we go all right, so just entering in through the front entry here, you can see everything opens right up to the uh, main living space right away when you enter the door. A um, couple notes here in the front um, uh, entry here, front foyer, is that we did a lift in the ceiling here, kind of a neat little feature to define the space visually. Uh, we did a little detail around this lift and then did a little bit of strip lighting here that up lights and kind of gives it a nice little feature there. Um, so it just sort of visually defines the space pretty nice and I showed you the outside of this door so I'll show you the inside of the door um, so it's wood grain stain on the outside nice white color here on the inside to stay with the overall um, sort of clean color scheme that's going on here and then this brings us into the living room um, so nice little living room here big thing that defines this space uh, well, two main things I would say. The the windows would be one, um, so the customer really wanted nice uh, amount of light in this space, and so the windows almost go almost from floor to ceiling. Um, and again, contemporary style windows, right? So they're very asymmetrical and kind of funky looking, and uh, they do have blinds on them as well for privacy and whatnot. Um, but it really does. It almost feels like you're in a condo or something when you're in this uh, living room here so it's kind of a neat feel and um, the other thing I would say that defines this space would be the cool um, custom fireplace around that we did and it has a three-sided fireplace here and uh, very very simplistic asymmetrical staying with the contemporary design asymmetrical uh, surround here so just very simple a little bit of wood grain there on the top everything else is drywall and just matches in with the walls um, and your TV's here on this side obviously so kind of a neat feature there and a very very nice living room and then we come in here to the uh, dining room uh, the dining room in this space it is just two people living in this home and it was built custom for them um, they wanted versatility for when they had company over um, so the nice thing about this dining room space is you can expand this table to get lots of people around for you know Christmas and different things like that gatherings um, and then it can compress down for when it's just the two of them here as well and not overwhelm the space uh, again a funky window here contemporary style gives a little bit of light back to the space as well so a very cool uh, little dining room there and then bring us into the show stopping kitchen here very very unique kitchen that we did in this house um, it was a lot of fun um, so uh, flanking doors on either side of of uh, the window and the stovetop uh, countertop at the back there so it gives lots of natural light into the space there is a covered porch on that side of the equation as well so in order to give back some light we put this uh, uh, skylight in here above the sort of traffic area between the two countertops and that just gives natural light back to the space and makes it nice and uh, and bright and of course lots of things to note here as far as the kitchen design I don't even know where to start really um, but one thing would be this is a quartz countertop here and then just over on the two sides 
um, is laminate and um, complements each other very nice. And then of course, two-tone count, uh, sorry, cabinets as well. We've got some wood grain, slab, simple wood grain there, very contemporary, very simplistic. And then we've contrasted that with the black um, cabinets there as well. And it turned out really, really cool. Um, so yeah, wall oven here as well. And then um, the uh, microwave is just above there. And uh, as I mentioned, quartz tops here. So uh, undermount sink there. And then this space here, uh, I mentioned during construction, I think we did a few stories on this uh, counter here. So one of the sort of challenges and I guess unique little features here with this house was um, this, this window doesn't have a sill. It's just the countertop is the sill for the window. So it was a little bit of calculation and figuring out when we were setting that window, but it turned out looking awesome. And of course, with the cooktop here, we've got an induction cooktop right here. And with that came some challenges as well because we have to vent that cooktop, right? And we wanted to keep this space up above as clean as possible. So how do we achieve that? Um, we installed this cool stove vent that pops up. And, oh, just a minute. There we go. And it turns on just like that. So it just sort of creeps out of the countertop there and then it's there when you need it and when you're done with it you just turn it down and you don't have to think about it anymore so there it is which is kind of a unique feature there uh, and then we flip over here obviously fridge here uh, we've got a bar area here as well so again two toning things and uh, playing the slabs with the wood grain off of the more traditional um, black look. So a lot of contrast going on in here, uh, which is really, really neat. Again, light fixtures. We've got sort of a funky light fixture here. Very simplistic, uh, neat light fixture there. And with a lot of the uh, hardware in that, black has been a theme uh, and will be a theme throughout this house as well. Um, in the stairwell... Um, Again, very simple. Uh, we just did some glass panels. Very, very simple. Slight chamfer on the top of that post. And, you know, just a nice wood grain stained in to match the flooring. That's one other note I should say, too, is that this flooring here is a vinyl plank uh, flooring, actually. So uh, we're seeing more and more of that um, taking place because it's very, very durable. And uh, it's available in lots of different colors and textures now. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'll take you out to the patio in just a minute, but I'm going to take you down here. Uh, this is sort of the bedroom bathroom quarters down on this side of the house. And, uh, just through here is a, uh, powder room, which I'll take you in in just a minute. But I want to note here with the powder room door and with all the doors throughout this entire house, uh, we did a trimless detail here. So we do have a flat baseboard that goes throughout the house. Um, but in terms of all the doors and windows, we did a shadow um, drywall return there. So I'm not sure how well you can see that. There is a slight profile right here and then the door jam here. So instead of having casings, uh, in this case, our customer really wanted to keep things simplistic and contemporary. And I don't know how many times I'm going to say contemporary throughout this tour, but it's not something we do every day. Anyways, the door slab itself is also very simplistic. It's just a slab door. There's no paneling really to it other than a very, very, very slight uh, profile there on the horizontal. So <clears throat> don't know how well I'm going to be able to shoot this uh, powder room. But anyways, um, this is the powder room. We've got a floating vanity here and uh, a little downlight under there. Um, that's just a stool under there. That's not part of the vanity, but uh, downlight underneath the kick light, I guess is what we would call it, underneath the vanity there. And then they've done a kind of neat um, feature wall here. This is just wallpaper. Um, and again, sticking with the asymmetrical um, sort of theme, the light fixture doesn't center on the sink. It's sort of off to the one side. And that was done deliberately um, to stick with the overall design scheme. Um, not much to look at on this side, but the toilet is over here and then they've just done a little bit of wall hanging stuff there as well. So 
Um, and then we'll bring you through just behind us there is uh, pretty simple. Um, this is a mudroom laundry room, so very sort of utility type space. This door goes through to the garage and we've just got a sink over there on that side, washer, dryer, you know, your sort of standard setup there. We did do a bench in here with some hooks uh, to sort of give you a place to sit down and put your shoes on and store shoes and stuff like that. And then just behind here, there's a coat closet as well. So pretty functional little mudroom, um, mudroom laundry room there, which is always a key. Just through here is the guest bedroom and we'll take you there in just a minute. Um, and then this walks through to the master bedroom. On our left here is the walk-in closet, which I won't take you in there because there is somebody living in this house, but um, good size master bedroom here. Um, again, cool light fixture there, which sort of sets the tone for the room. And of course, just like in the front living room, uh, the the uh, windows are a big feature here as well. So again, sticking with those contemporary windows there. Um, one thing to note, I guess in here, and I don't know how well you can see it with the glare, but uh, the trim is the same color as the wall. And then of course this drywall return comes back to the window and that's all the same color. So just what we call a stool, um, stool sill whatever you want to call it on that window right there which was painted to match the window but then everything else was painted this nice dark blue color so we'll take you through here and one of the big features of this house in my opinion anyways is the ensuite bathroom i think it's really really neat um, so there's lots of stuff to look at in here but starting with the floating vanity again kick lighting on the floating vanda vanity we've got slab um, fronts on here Kind of unique looking little simplistic pulls on those drawers there as well solid surface countertop um, we've got some undermount sinks in here and black faucets so that's kind of neat and they've put up uh, these cool uh, black frame mirrors that sort of match in with all the other hardware which is a neat feature comfort height toilet over there which we don't need to talk too much about but we know why that's called comfort height and uh, lots of our customers have been asking for those down here, um, we've got a just a vinyl mat. Believe it or not, that's just a vinyl mat, but it's this cool herringbone pattern which sort of sets uh, a nice uh, contrast in the room as well. And then um, we've got custom tile shower here, which is always uh, popular. Lots, again, to talk about the black, we've got black trim around the glass, we've got black fixtures, black handle. So, you know, it's again that contrast, it's a nice light tile, um, but you've got the uh, black that's contrasting off of it there as well. And sticking with that theme with the tub, um, in this case, they did just a drop-in tub, tile surround, the glass from the shower just sort of jumps up onto the, the tile there, the deck for the tub. And again, black faucets here for the tub and even, you know, the towel holder is black. Again, another, another cool, funky um, light fixture. And uh, yeah, can't beat it, right? So, so this is what we classify as a cheater um, ensuite. This door right here is gonna take us through the guest, uh, guest bedroom, sorry. So this brings us into the guest bedroom. And a pretty simple little bedroom here, um, flanking windows on either side of the bed there. And again, they have these operators in the bottom. So sticking with that contemporary, there we go again, uh, style with the windows in here. So that's pretty much it for the interior of the tour. Um, this bedroom does have a good size closet there as well. And oh, I better show uh, the light fixture there as well, which again is uh, pretty fun. So um that's pretty much it for the interior of the main floor anyways of of this tour and i will just slip out here and we'll end off on the rear patio or porch i should say which is a covered area and we like to do these porches in uh, concrete they get poured right in with the foundation and everything's finished off looking nice it's a lot more indestructible uh, than like a wood deck say They've created a little bit of privacy from the neighbor here on this side and just a nice sitting area there. So it's a good size. Let's see if I can get a better shot here for you. 
good size covered porch back in here where you can sort of sit out and look at nature. Down in there there's a stormwater retaining pond uh, but through the valley lots of nice trees and that. So it's a nice look there as well. Anyway guys, thanks so much for joining us for this tour and we'll see you next time.